Indeed, greetings unto you, my beloved and holy friends. Thank you so much for joining me today on another video. I really appreciate your presence. If you enjoy what it is I'm doing here, consider liking the video, consider subscribing, and do leave a comment. I try and answer every single one of them. Let's go live. <sighs> it's been a good day. Felt very good. Uh, <laughs> I feel like yesterday was was very important and I, I came to conclusions that it that took me kind of a while kind of kind of like put it off for a very long time <laughs> and finally I kind of came to terms with things that I I didn't want to think about and I, I kind of reframed a lot of things that, that allowed me to to kind of forgive I think forgive is the right word yeah uh, Forgiveness is something that I've been practicing actively and I I was capable of forgiving myself of things yesterday and forgiving people in my life of things as well even though No one can ever harm you, right? No one ever harm you. If you realize that you are holy and that you are whole Nothing can bother you in this world. Hey Javad or Jovan, right? I think it's Jovan Hey Jovan and hello Lane. Thank you friends. Thank you so much for joining me. We have a little bit of a new perspective again today. It's been windy, like as you can see, it's been windy, windy the whole day. So I'm in a little bit of a nook, <laughs> like a little corner area, so that the wind noise is not as bad as it might be. Ooh, I forgot my Garrick. I'll be back in a second. I'll be back in a second. Please talk amongst yourselves. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry for banding you. I I do apologize, but I'm back. I'm back as promised. Found a little Garrick. I have a little little space, so I don't take uh, any bud into my room. So I drop it off before I go inside. And I never finished my joint last night, so I never put it back in my little mushroom pouch. And for that reason. It wasn't with me. <sighs> it's pretty hot again today. Like, pretty, pretty hot. But it is... It was a beautiful day nonetheless. Really good clouds. And then, this morning, after I had a shower in my towel, I went and I just stood in the sun. Just like, oh, absorbed the sunlight. And I felt so good afterward. Like, it literally felt like it completely revitalized me for the day. Very, very, very beneficial, I believe. Hello, this is my first time tuning in from my PC instead of my phone since I just wrapped up playing some Minecraft for a bit. So you did end up playing some Minecraft. Did you set an alarm as you told me that you would? <laughs> I wonder how the, the PC experience is. Might be a little bit better for, for commenting if you, if you enjoy typing on a computer, I guess. Whew. Yo, what's up, Naomi and Chabot? Thank you for, for sharing the love, Lane. I think we're all very, very happy here. Morning, lovely people. Morning, Katie. Good morning to you. Is it Katie? Like, I'm curious now as well. Like, is your name Katie or Kate? Because I'll, I'll try and remember the right one. I don't have a, a preference between the two, but I would like to remember the one that you go by, the one that you're your parents called you preferably. There's so much wind today. Like it's been like just blazingly <laughs> windy today the whole day. So I hope that <laughs> my hair, my hair behaves and the, the, the audio sounds fine. Hey friends, asking to break from exploring the nether. Just tune in. Thank you. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you for, for taking a break from the, the nether. 
I believe that there are a little bit less scary sounds and weird looking creatures at least in this world. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in. Hello Naomi and Universe Dream. Watching the regulars roll in. Yeah, it's so nice actually. You can see this this group of regulars as you want to call it. Our group of friends grow more and more. And we are starting to recognize each other. Jovan, Katie, Naomi, Dan is probably going to be here soon as well. It's so nice to see you here every single day. I did set an alarm for 10 <laughs> my time to make sure I could be here. Okay, so my stream, you're living in Canada, right? So my stream is 10 your time. That is later than I thought it was actually because for some people it's like 6 a.m. sometimes in my morning streams there we go <laughs> hey Dan yeah Dan just tuned in as well Katie is what my parents call me Katie it is then thank you thank you for sharing your name with me friend thank you so much da -da -da. Pocalo Po Kalolo. What does that even mean? <laughs> what are we smoking? We're smoking some lemon haze, my friend. We're smoking some, some cheeky lemon haze. It's basically what I've been smoking all year, every single day. And yeah, it's been gentle, it's been kind, it's been informative. Whatever the intention is I set for it, it has given me. So I'm very, very grateful. Here we are again. Good morning, Meltmore. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, my friend. Thank you for being here, friend. <laughs> yes, the wind is crazy. Uh, yes, it's much more relaxing than the nether. Yeah, <laughs> I can think so, actually. What's up, brother? Not much, my friend. Not much. Had a good day. Had a another day of a little bit of studying. Um, what was the gist of today's lesson? I think recognizing fear and to realize that fear is a contraction away from love mm. yeah I feel like that's the the lesson that I had to learn today and it's definitely a, a true one it's a wise one too often especially these days we live in a state of fear and the media also kind of wants you to be in a state of fear because if you're in a state of fear you come back to, to hear if you're still supposed to be in a state of fear so unfortunately Fear is something that's ever prevalent in our lives and in our existences here on this planet earth But it's it's an illusion. It's a lie <laughs> Nothing should make you be scared literally nothing Because you are a beautiful divine individualized expression of God and your soul is immortal you Can't die you Can't not exist you Can't go away we will forever be here with each other or at least forever be there <laughs> with each other wherever the mind of God resides we will be there because even before God decided to make this realm this reality physical we have already been created perfectly equally and in his image huh? isn't that a profound thought part of the lessons that I learned today again it's so beautiful and it's such an amazing way to, to think of life <laughs> uh, there's Dan right on time yes yes he is it's nice to chill with these streams with you guys it's nice to chill with you as well eh? like I feel like this community is only growing I recently uh, on Naomi's request I recently started no 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 okay I need to backtrack a little bit so Gare Bear I'm not sure if he's he here just yet but Gare Bear suggested we need a r slash Meltmore so I created one and Naomi suggested that I mention it on stream as well so if you want to post some photos if you want to share some love if you want to uh, like join the the Meltmore lounge so we can all just chat with each other about whatever it is we want to chat about the, the r slash meltmore is not a thing 
it's not a thing. The form is outstanding. The form is outstanding? You mean this form? I'm guessing. It's 6.20 a.m. for me. You see, that's what I was like curious about. It's crazy to me that America has so many time zones and like I, I kind of, I'm kind of confused about how you guys wake up. Because like for some person waking up at 5 a.m. is for another person waking up at like 9 p.m. or 9, 9 a.m. And <laughs> technically they are awake at the exact same time. But it's not the exact same time, obviously. Like I was, I was watching a, a video today by, I think it's called, it's okay to be smart or it's okay to, I think that's the, that's the channel name. And it basically talked about what now is. So if you were to live, for example, on a planet one light year away from earth and you had the technology to, to look onto that planet and to see me and I can like dance around and whatever and you can, you're, you're literally seeing me as you're looking through that, that telescope. What you're seeing is me from one year ago. And even though you feel like you are seeing me now, that is an image of me from one year ago. <laughs> so the, the concept of now apparently is something that is subjective to every single person. And every single person's now is almost like individual and specific to them and it was a very a very trippy video to watch it was very thought-provoking if you will yes I am from the east coast of Canada so it comes around it comes around around 10 a.m. which is why I'm often at work yeah I actually it makes a lot of sense actually it kind of makes more sense than it did before that's a nice shirt thank you friend it's a very soft one as well very comfortable material it's 3.20 p.m. or, yeah. So where are you, friend? You must be somewhere in Europe then, I'm guessing. You happen to be in Australia? No, friend. It is night time. Oh, excuse me. Night time in Australia right now. I'm in South Africa. I'm living in South Africa. That's deep. You have a kind vibe. Thank you, friend. I, I hope to, to teach. No. I hope to love so fully and so genuinely that the vibe that I'm trying to give you infects you and you want to in turn take that vibe and give it to others as well. Hi, uh, in Michigan, 9 to, uh, 9.22 a.m. here now. You see, it's so cool. To me, it's like 27 minutes past four right now. <laughs> oh my, now, like it's, it's kind of tripping me out still. It's such a profound thought to think about what now means. Because all we have is now, right? Even though these streams will be immortalized. And I believe, honestly, that if, you, if you're tuning into these streams, even if, if it's like the, the recording of it, that now that we are experiencing right now still exists. And it will forever exist because we've created a space for that now to exist now. Does that make any sense? I hope it makes sense. <laughs> Heady high five. Heady high five to you as well, my friend. Uh, I am literally just... Uh, hey, literally just sparked a zoot. I'm sparking a zoot real, real soon as well, my friend. Sometimes fear is healthy. Yeah, if you're trying to like run from a lion, but it's not healthy if you're, if you're fearing and you're limiting yourself and your self-expression because of that fear also heck yeah michigan gang <laughs> universe dream so universe dream if you if you want to remember lane her name is katie i didn't even know like for some reason upon reading the universe dream name i assumed it was a man but it was a very pleasant surprise to to know that it's <laughs> to know that her name is katie what are you smoking oh my god I'm smoking on some lemon haze, my friend. Fear helps push your limits and understand your boundaries. Friend, love does that. Love and desire does that. Not fear. Not fear. You gotta be high as fuck after that, Tater. Yeah, I probably will be. <laughs> That's why I never actually finish it. Love your vibe. Super happy I'm tuned in. 
I'm happy you're tuned in as well, my friend. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for joining us. You have a very spiritful laugh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Frost God. That makes me laugh as well. Uh, it gives me some, give me some wholesome vibes. I really appreciate it. Snow here in Michigan is going crazy. Who was it who said yesterday that they're getting 30 centimeters of snow? I can't exactly remember where it was. They said it's going to be... <sighs> Am I going to sneeze? False. <laughs> it was a, a false alarm. 920 here in Philadelphia. Welcome, Dan. Welcome from Philadelphia. What time is it in New York right now? And how far is it going to be if you get that job, my friend? I want every single one of us to actually take a second to, to wish Dan good luck and to... Like, if you want to extend the prayer, like, I believe prayer is just you asking the universe or asking God or asking the source to to do something, to have an intent. So, I've been I've been praying for Dan to get, the, like, the job that he wants right now. He's going to maybe move to New York. And I want all of you to extend that prayer as well. And, like, while I'm on this train, pray for Naomi's knee, please. <laughs> please. Preaching about God. And now I know... Why you think fear and love uh, are all, are at all connected? Why you think fear and love aren't at all connected? Fear. So if you want to think about it like a fence, fear and judgment is on this side of the fence. Love and forgiveness is on this side of the fence. So they they definitely are not separate, but they are illusionary. They're not the the truth of this realm, my friend. We have freezing rain and ice pellets here right now. And I got the day off at work. Yes, Naomi actually has like five days in a row off. So like a mini vacation. And she posted on the r slash subreddit a photo or a little video of her scenery. And what you're looking at is beautiful. Like actually, Naomi, I just want to say that as well. Hey, man. Hey, Harley. Thank you for being here, my friend. I'm jealous of the weather. It's 920 uh, on Long Island, but cold. It's as cold as usual, though. It's going to be cold when it's winter, right? <laughs> I wake up at 9.25 a.m. Is it 9.25 a.m. right now? And you just woke up to, to join the stream? If, if that is the case, thank you for being here, my friend. I've got a foot of snow uh, where maybe I've seen snow in 11 years and I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, like having a foot of snow, so a foot is like almost 30 centimeters, right? Having a foot of snow after not seeing snow for 11 years must be quite a shock to the system. Hello, good friend. Sending love down from the mountains. Thank you, Merman. Thank you for being here, my friend. My man is smoking some cannabis. Not just yet. Not just yet. And not, not, not much as up, my friend. I'm here with you all having some chats, having some, some good feelings, having some good vibes. I feel good. I feel really good. And I feel like I'm already behind on my comments. I'm so sorry. Now doesn't exist, past and future are just as much real. <sighs> it's, a, it's a weird one. Time doesn't exist, I think. Or time is the fourth dimension of this universe. Because speed and traveling away from something also changes the relative or the relativity of time towards the two things that are like, for example, if I was on Earth if it's like a stopwatch and like they actually did a study doing this so they had atomic clocks on two planes and then an atomic clock on like a center point and then the two planes flew one counterclockwise one clockwise and then they came back to the same point and those three clocks each one of them had different times on them even though they were atomic clocks it's uh, it breaks my mind <laughs> i don't understand <laughs> Uh, I'm not currently in school, so I may smoke up a little with you. Please do, Lane. And on that note, I'm actually going to light this. I know I'm still far behind in my comments, and I will read them all. I just, I want to I wanna light this. So, before I do, I want to set an intention for why it is I'm smoking today. Hmm. And what do I feel about it? Actually, my intention today is forgiveness mm. yeah forgiving myself of anything that I've I've brought into my field of consciousness that was uh, harmful or painful to me 
And that's the only person you need to forgive at the end of the day, friends. You need to forgive yourself. If you can't forgive yourself, you can't forgive anyone else. So, do forgiveness. Do forgiveness. <laughs> Where are you? I'm in South Africa, my friend. I'm in South Africa. I'm directly in the middle of the equator and North Pole. Right in the snow belt. Ooh. That sounds chilly, Katie. That sounds very chilly. I hope that it's not too cold and I hope that you're staying warm. Yeah, the wind is just going for it, huh? It's been like this the whole day as well. I've been concerned, like, ever since the, well, since the morning started and I was listening to the wind, I was like, hmm, I wonder if this wind is gonna continue until I have to stream. And I was concerned because I knew I was gonna have to make a plan for the stream so that the wind is not too bad. Mostly because the, the stream can like tip over when the wind is too bad, so I'm happy that I have this little nook to stream it as well. I'd love to smoke with you, but I think 9.30 a.m. might be a little early. Yeah, a wee bit. Maybe just a wee bit early. Like if you don't have any obligations or you have to be anywhere then maybe it's fine to take like a little bit of a, a self-care day if you will but if you have to go and do stuff maybe not maybe it's a little bit early just got off of work i want to quit drinking and smoke more instead any ideas on that just do exactly that my friend <laughs> and i 100 percent encourage you to do that as well because water and weed is going to always and like even though I'm not a medical professional or whatever, I think water and weed is going to always... I'm trying to get a little leaf out of... You know what? Let the leaf be in my water. <laughs> if I drink a little bit of leaf, I don't think it's going to kill me. <laughs> uh, so just do that, friend. Stop drinking and smoke more and drink water instead. It's, in my opinion, the way to go. It's It's been very good for me. I've stopped drinking a long time ago. Like, I'll... When I drink now, I'll drink like maybe a beer with a friend, but I've not drunk and to get drunk like in whew, your years. Dude. It's been it's been so long, and it's definitely been a good change for me to make. Do you have daylight savings time in SA? You might be moving up to 8:20 a.m. for if not, no friend. We don't have daylight savings time. We basically have only like one time zone basically only one time zone because it like literally goes straight through the middle of South Africa so everybody kind of agrees that we have one time zone so no no daylight savings what are you doing I'm smoking a, a zoot as one of my <laughs> my friends of the day called it and having chats with all of you <clears throat> just read your profile description and man I fucking love you <laughs> I love you as well my friend I love you like genuinely Harley Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing this space with us. And what I said in my description is exactly what I believe, my friend. It's exactly what I believe. And in, like to those of you who don't want to read it, it basically says, I am not any more special than you reading this right now. We are all made of the same star stuff put here to experience and create. Creativity, I think it's creativity. Creativity is the most divine thing that I can do. Like, I think that's me paraphrasing a little bit, but that's basically the gist of it. Weed gives me fear. No, friend, weed gives you anxiety. And anxiety is being ultra aware of everything around you and especially your inner feelings. But maybe you're supposed to be anxious about something. Maybe you're putting off something in your own psyche that you don't want to confront. And that's exactly why you have that anxiety, friend. You're smoking eight minutes too late though. <laughs> Do you smoke exactly on 420? No, friend. Like, there's, there's no rules. There's no regulations. Sometimes I hold on to this thing for like 20 minutes into the stream before I smoke it. All right, I'll try to remember Katie. <laughs> like, like, the thing is, imagine... I think the... Okay, okay. I, I want to say a thousand things at the same time. The human brain apparently can only remember a thousand names and connect those names of a thousand faces. So 
<laughs> like how how can I remember every single name because I'm trying to that's the thing I'm actually trying to remember every single name and it's hard it is hard it's it's like a challenge that I've taken on that I don't know if I can succeed in and maybe that's exactly the point uh, good morning from Wisconsin brother good morning to you my friend can you do the nether Neanderthal dance again I'll do the Neanderthal dance tomorrow no will I do it tomorrow morning I'll see how I feel in that moment because I feel like I do want to take a meditation day but right now I feel kind of good like my legs are kind of stomped again so maybe maybe I'll do the Neanderthal dance again my friend thank you for tuning in I really do appreciate it good morning friend good morning to you as well I want to fly to SA to hug you Hopefully someday I can fly to whatever, well, I want to visit every single country in the entire world. So I'm going to be streaming about that as well. And hopefully I can meet all of you beautiful friends as well. Melt more. Yes, Unable Midnight. Thank you for being here, my friend. And thank you for the, the heartwarming, Harley. I appreciate it. And thank you for the heartwarming as well, Dan. You were supposed to get freezing rain, but we got 40 degrees and my brother, a mailman, had to come home because he was too hot you were supposed to get freezing rain and it was too hot how does that happen and do you live in america that sounds almost implausible <laughs> get it dan dan the man hey mose it's maria right i think it's maria mose i might be wrong but you see i am trying i'm trying to remember all the names <laughs> Oh, my knee will be fine. Thanks, Lane. No biggie if you don't. NYC is just uh, an hour or two north, so it's the same time zone. Okay, that's really nice. I was more concerned about your moving process because moving to another state that's like eight hours away, that's hectic. So I, I didn't want that <laughs> for you, my friend. Thank you for the hugs. Dan, that is. Yeah, the video was taken just outside my back door where I go to smoke. You have a beautiful view to smoke in as well then, Naomi. I'm not jealous. I am happy for you. That's the that's the way to think about it. You're awesome, Meltmore. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, my friend. GTMD Engineering, thank you, friend. Really, like this would not be possible if we all, all weren't here. Like this is literally a community created thing. This is us friends coming together to do something and I I want to experiment with a piece of software that is called so any of you who watch William o Olson William Olson Olson's videos on YouTube he recently got sponsored with his like newest video by some sort of app that allows like podcasting to have people send voice notes in to ask questions and that would be something that I would really like because I could hear all of your voices. I still will keep the streams on Reddit for now, for this year, I should say. But I would also want that extra element of it, if, if that would be something that you would enjoy. This whole community is awesome. Yes, we are, friend. <laughs> yes, we are. Too much snow, more snow than I've ever gotten here. My dogs can't even get around in it. Do they try? I've seen so many videos where they open the door and the, the dog is like outside and then he realizes how cold it is and he's like, no, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> and then he goes back inside and it's, it's so relatable to me because I feel like I would be the exact same way. The streets look like mazes <laughs> with all of the tracks going through them or is it that high? I seriously love you, man. I watch you in the mornings while I wake up for the day, my day's motivational speech. Thank you, Harley. I love you too, my friend. Honestly, truly, I am loved. You are loved. We are loving. We are lovable. And I want you to say this to yourself as well. I am loved. I am loving. I am lovable. And I know I've said it before on stream, but it's, it's something that we forget and it's something that we almost try to avoid telling ourselves so i want you to i want you to know that you are loved you are loving and you are lovable my friend hey mel 
what Reddit should I stream on if you want to hang out with viewers while writing music? Oh, you're asking me a good question. I think the U Show, friend. I think the U Show would be good because it would be you, essentially, if you're in frame, that is. Um, otherwise, maybe Reddit Sessions? I'll go and check for you. There's a bunch of them, actually. There's a bunch of them. One for every every single taste of the world. Uh, eighth in forgiveness. Right on. Forgiveness. Oh, thank you, my friend. Looks beautiful there. Thank you. Like, if you want to see more of it, me just sh 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 <laughs> shoving this in there. If you want to see more of it, uh, I do post these videos to YouTube. And the YouTube videos are, you know, HD, 60 FPS, horizontal aspect ratio. So you can see a little bit more of the background. And it's less blown out as well because it's a better, <laughs> a better camera and a better lens. <laughs> uh, do you study physics? Uh, I think I love you. Holy shit, the stream gives me life. Keep doing the good work. So grateful to share this moment with you. I'm so grateful for you as well, my friend. I'm going to be doing this every single day of this year so that we can be together like this, so that we can share moments like these, so that I can <laughs> receive as much love from you as you're giving me right now and give you so much love back. I love you, my friend. Thank you for saying such wonderful things. Hawaii has no daylight savings as well. Yes, because it's like a, it's like a, only a one time zone country. It's almost like a country, right? And welcome, Brenda. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the heartwarming, Naomi. Morning from Minnesota. Minnesota. Welcome, friend. I'm so bad with the states. Maybe I should get good and actually study a little bit <laughs> so I know where every one of you are pinpointed on the world. Shoot daylight savings. There's going to be time where I won't be able to watch the streams at all, other than on, on the YouTube. Well, I mean, that's unfortunate. But how does daylight savings affect that? Actually, I'm kind of, I'm kind of confused. Maybe it's because I've never had daylight savings that I don't really understand how it works. I'm going to move this thing just a little bit lower. Actually, this wind is slightly disconcerting. <laughs> uh, what's your sign? You mean my zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus, my friend. Love your username. The, the oh, evil Troy and evil abed. Evil Troy and evil abed. Evil Troy and evil abed. Is it supposed to be like a rhyming thing? Evil Troy, evil abed. It's kind of nice to say, I can't lie, <laughs> so maybe I like it as well. You watch Community, Naomi? Community, the series? I think I've watched a few episodes of that as well. Dance to some Fela Futi. Love that guy. Fela Kuti. I'll try and check them out, friend. Um, I can, if I want to dance, it has to be like... High rhythm, high pace type of music, otherwise I, I don't succeed. <laughs> Sure do. Been a while since I watched it though. The Community. It's a pretty good show. Very comical. Kind of, uh... The tra what is that show called with Ron Swanson? Mm. One of you will know. But that's one of my, my favorite shows as well, actually. Meltmore, I'm perfectly fine if you want to forget my name to remember another. I am good with Universe Dream. Katie, I'll try and remember, my friend. It's not going to be about forgetting anyone's names to remember anyone else's. Like, I hope, I honestly hope that with technology, it's going to be capable for me to remember every single name and to be able to communicate with each and every single one of you whenever you want to. And I think at the pace that we're going right now, it might be... Uh, in the next five years, maybe the next ten years, possibility. And it makes me very excited to think about stuff like that. And I think this community can only grow. It can only grow and we can only keep being there for each other. Imagine if we can all <laughs> always be there when anyone needs a hand to reach out to. Because that is something that is possible. It might not be possible for me to always 
be able to individually reach out to every single person. But if as this community grows, that's the same reason why I wouldn't be able to do this. But as the community grows, it is the reason why we can do it for each other. So I'd highly encourage that. If any of any one of you needs someone to talk to, send any other one of us a message because if we're here together, we're here together for a reason. And I do believe we're here together because we are like-minded people and we will all be willing to help each other if that is something that we would want. Anxiety, yikes, I know I overthink a lot. I was able to talk myself through two anxiety attacks on Sunday. Overcoming them was an amazing feeling of accomplishment. <clears throat> it's actually something me and a friend had a chat about, Jabot or Jovan. I think that is how I say it. You still haven't corrected me whether or not I'm saying it correctly. Um, but he basically mentioned that people that have anxiety attacks are actually like some of the most powerful people on this planet because they have so much power in their mind that they can literally cripple their own body. And that is kind of like a surrealistic thing to think about. You are very powerful, my friend. Very, very powerful. I want you to know that. And I want you to, to realize that you are so much more than you've ever thought and that you are not only feeling accomplishment, but you are accomplishing something, friend. I hope that I can help you with your anxiety as well. I hope that we can grow together and that in five years you can tell me that anxiety is no longer a problem for you whatsoever. Hmm. Is it just me? Or has the comments stopped? I don't know if the comments completely stopped, but I'm not receiving any more of them. Maybe it's glitched. I wouldn't be surprised. But if it is glitched, I'm terribly sorry. For the time being, I'm going to, to puff on this J. And Gare Bear's words, it's okay to be quiet sometimes. Now, I'm gonna assume the comments are broken. Unless one of you wanna correct me. That is strange. That is very, very strange. I almost feel like I don't know what to do with myself. Maybe I'll tell a story. Hmm. Let me scroll through life experiences to find what story it is I want to tell. Hmm. The question is how early do I start looking? Actually, I have a kind of a little bit of a story to tell and a little bit of a story of forgiveness, I guess, because I want to forgive this. And yeah, let me tell the story first. So when I was about four years old, my dad, bought us chickens and like he he told them he told me that they were like my chickens and I had so much love for these chickens and it was so nice to feed them and to, to see them peck around and like just to see these little creatures living and experiencing and the, like, they laid a bunch of eggs and my dad showed me the eggs and he was like look <laughs> this is where you can uh, like where the baby chickens are coming from and like a few weeks passed I think it was like time passed I don't know as a child my mind was still a little bit in its developmental stages memory forming wasn't top priority at that point I guess but we we basically uh, waited and these little baby chickens eventually hatched and I had then these cute new like life forms on our like or in our cages our chicken cages or chicken coop I guess would be the word and like it went from me being fascinated by these chickens that we had and was living and was experiencing life 
to <laughs> not having even more of that and not having that before and now having it and it was absolutely mind-bogglingly profound to me at that point in my life and I was so happy and I was so like giddy about these little baby chicks and then a dog broke into our yard and killed all of my baby chickens and I feel like that was the first time in my life that I ever had hatred towards something and I don't think I've ever taken the time to actually think about that and to forgive that dog as well because I feel now <laughs> only now after sure how, how long has it been after 18 years after 18 years I learned the lesson that I was supposed to learn to learn that I had that capacity as well but I don't have to live in that anymore I forgive that, that dog as well because he was just following his instincts right he was he was being a dog <laughs> and he saw smaller creatures that were very slow and kind of defenseless and he did what dogs sometimes do so I forgive that dog for what he did to my baby chickens as well Man. Yeah, I feel like my inner child is smiling right now. Wow. <laughs> Let's go again. Let's go again. Let's scroll through memory load. Okay. So, anything else tra dramatic happening? Yeah. So, this is going to be again me being a little bit vulnerable. But I think it is something that's important to share because it's, it is something that happened in my life and it's something I've never forgiven myself for. So when I was, I think, six years old, we, we had this like Bible camp sort of thing and we had to, to bring like 50 cents and stuff to the Bible camp to like have like sort of some sort of fundraiser or basically the school wants more money and like each class competed against the other classes to see who could raise the most money so it was competition driven money <laughs> money grabbing from the from this bible school so like me as a like i was a very rebellious six-year-old let me just say that and it's not me justifying anything it's just me thinking back to the state of mind i was in during that time of my life and basically went to this uh, went to this bible camp class and i took like a few 50 cents and i put it in my shoe <laughs> i put it in my shoe and i went and i bought myself like a, a packet of chips or something at the, the tuck shop and i got caught they were like where did you get these 50 cents and instead of me giving the 50 cents to the school they were like oh where did you get these 50 cents and I was so ashamed and I've been ashamed my entire life and I've never ever forgiven myself for that and I finally I finally want to I feel like it's something so stupid and so small but it's something I've had a lot of resentment in myself towards something I've never told anyone in my entire life and now I'm telling it to the entire world and yeah I want to forgive myself for that as well I want to forgive myself for keeping it from the world keeping it from myself, keeping it from my loved ones and for never accepting that it wasn't the end of the world it was also an experience that I needed to have but it has created a lot of shame and a lot of self-resentment in me throughout my life every time I happen to think about that moment so I finally want to release it I finally want to release it we should be live again I'm sorry, Reddit dropping streams, it's kind of unfortunate, kind of unfortunate, but these things happen. It might be the wind as well, maybe jiggling the, the antenna, because we have like point-to-point -point internet, so it connects one point to the other point, and then if those two points aren't like looking at each other at all times, the internet connection kind of drops, so I hope that's not the case, but it might have been, or it was just 
Reddit bunking out, which is also completely possible. <laughs> yeah, more than possible actually. Ah, what's your ping like there? Well, it depends. It depends, like, and it mostly depends on like video games actually. <laughs> So, uh, for example, Dota in South Africa has local servers, so I get like between 9 and 15 ping, but depending on the servers, you can get like pretty high ping. So if I want to play like Apex Legends or something, I get like 200 plus ping, which is a little bit spotty. So, Jabot, can you tell me, friend? For how long was I talking without being able to read comments? Or did it just drop and then I was talking while thinking it didn't drop? And then, so basically, I was talking for was like straight 20 minutes after the comments, in my opinion, stopped. I thought, <laughs> I thought the comments just stopped, but I think, like now that I think about it, I think that Reddit kind of bonked out and then didn't realize itself that it bonked out, so it kind of yeah so it kind of like kept showing me a feed of myself and showing me the the timer tick down oof, that's a little bit of an oof moment but it's chill i was talking for like 12 minutes probably then and i i shared some very personal stuff <laughs> real personal stuff i kind of forgave myself of things i did as a child that I've never had the chance to actually do. So, yeah, if you want to see that, uh, which is going to be a little bit embarrassing for me, but if you do want to see that, it is going to be on the YouTube channel, I guess. I think it dropped like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, it, I, <laughs> I had a good bit of chat. Not going to lie, you are probably the most happy person I have ever seen. Thank you, friend. I feel like I'm actively becoming more happy because I'm forgiving myself of things that I, I've been holding on to. I've been not for. I've not been. I've been living in fear of it, fear that someone might find out, fear that I might say something about it, and someone might look down upon me. And it wasn't healthy. That fear was definitely not healthy, friend. And I feel like now, since I'm forgiving myself of these things and I'm reframing them, re putting them in a new perspective, I'm allowing myself to become more happy, friend. No worries, we uh, will head over to YouTube and see what we missed. <laughs> you didn't miss that much, fortunately, friend, but I think it was some, some good stuff. It was some good stuff. I, I, I basically just made the decision to, to tell a story because the, the comments stopped, so I just kind of kept talking. I just kind of kept talking. Nice shirt, thank you friend. Thank you so much. I'll check it out on YouTube Melt More. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I'm not sure if you read it, but the Reddit but what Reddit do you think I should stream on? Uh, if it's chill to write music. So I actually did read your comment and I answered it as well. But like basically what I said to give you the gist of it is that uh, I think Reddit sessions would be the place where you would do that. But like, there's like a whole list so if you go to stream you'll be presented with this whole list and it will basically give you like rules and guidelines of what you need to be streaming about if you don't want your stream to get kicked because that actually happens like I once accidentally started streaming on the wrong subreddit and then my, my stream just like dropped four minutes into the stream and I was like why did that happen and I was like oh I was streaming on the wrong subreddit so <laughs> learn from my mistakes friend Thank you for the stonks rising, Dan. And they are, friend. The stonks are only going to go <laughs> up, <laughs> up, up, up. Mm. The wind is kind of tranquil, though. Like, I've been thinking about the wind today as well. And I literally asked the question, why is the wind like this today? At one point to myself. And... <laughs> It is the most stupid question I could come, like ever ask actually because asking the wind why is 
is like asking <laughs> a question that has no answer. I believe that the, the wind and the water are like the feminine aspects of our planet. And then the earth and the mountains are like the masculine aspects of our planet. And the feminine always, even though she's so gentle and so kind, she will always defeat the masculine. She will always cut grooves into the earth, always chip away at mountains. And like there's this, uh, like I want to say Indian art, like art of, like Kali, I think it's Kali and then the, the masculine god. And she's basically this powerful, beautiful divine goddess. And she's like towering over this masculine who is like dead. And he's like uh, defeated almost. But he has a smile on his face. And he's like this hot ember that's laying on the ground. And it's just beautiful. And it's so, it's such a good uh, analogy for the masculine feminine energies. Because the masculine wants to be completely defeated by the feminine. And that's why there's this, this tension, this sexual energy between the masculine and the feminine. And it doesn't have to be like a, a gender role sort of thing, just masculine energy and feminine energy. Having that balance and complementing each other in a way where your feminine and masculine energy complements the feminine and masculine energy of the woman, you're basically becoming a little bit more of a whole union. <sighs> And that's why I believe that relationships and getting into relationships should be with the right intent and with <laughs> good good thoughts and good mindset towards it as well. It's, it's such a hard thing to really wrap my head around and it's not as easy as just like one, two, three, unfortunately. But I've been, I've been studying a lot. I've been trying to learn as much as possible. Yes, Katie, we're back. I'm so sorry. Sometimes Reddit just drops the streams. Interestingly enough as well, I was literally thinking to myself today, hmm, Reddit hasn't dropped any of my streams recently. That's kind of nice. And then <laughs> I had to be like reminded a little bit. Where are you in the world? I'm in South Africa, my friend. All right, I'll probably start streaming this weekend. If I have time, let me know when you do friend, I would like to tune in actually, but if it's going to be like in your afternoon hours, I'm probably going to be sleeping. So there has going to have to be like an overlapping <laughs> if at all possible. Oh, love you. Love you too. Thank you. Kill. Good morning, friend. Good morning. Prestigious match. You weren't here for the first stream, but you are here for the second one. Thank you for joining me, friend. Thanks for sharing what you have learned. You have been learned, <laughs> learning, <laughs> man. Like it's, I'm having a hard time reading. It seems. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thank you for, for being here for me to share, friend. I'm not here to teach you anything, but to love you and to love myself, and that is exactly what I try and do. And I think the more I love myself and the more I love others, the the more information is going to be opened onto me, and the the more I'll I'll have to actually work with. I'm smoking some wedding cake but again prestigious match it seems you have a favorite friend do you have a favorite what is your favorite bud uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it's wedding cake and thank you for the the tree hugs Harley I appreciate it my friend <laughs> the dogs are having a, a little bit of a play session Hi, yo, who are you? I am Meltmore, friend. <laughs> welcome, welcome to this community of friends that we have been building. Thank you for being here with me. Yes, yeah, Sweating Cake is one of my all-time favorites. I kind of knew it. <laughs> kind of knew it. Open yourself to life and life opens itself to you. Yes, Dan. It's so true. It is... And it's profoundly true, actually. And that's something I've been experiencing in my, my life. It's been awe-inspiring. It's been very humbling. <clears throat> it's been amazing. I'm very grateful. <laughs> hey, there he is. Hey, my friend. Thank you for being here. 
I wish I could go to your part of the world. It's stunning. Maybe someday, friend. Like, I mean, in the infinite possibilities that is our lives, maybe someday you will. Followed by blue dream, then wet dreams. Okay, so you have a like a dreams phenotype favorite and then the wedding cake, basically. It sounds amazing, friend. Do you get your butt from dispensaries? Do you grow it yourself? What do you do, friend? I'm curious. Uh, it said connection issues. Yeah, basically it tells me, um, sorry, Reddit has encountered some sort of connectivity issues or uh, some error, please try again later or something like that. It's kind of hectic. <laughs> uh, I wish that could... It can, friend. It can. Sending big hugs. Thank you, Brenda. Hi. Hi to you, similar Farcuda. <laughs> I think you had a connection issue. You sent me six highs. Maybe I should just get higher and higher and higher and higher. <laughs> uh, what makes you want to continue smoking? Nothing in particular. Nothing in particular. Um, I actually want to stop smoking, but I'll stop smoking when I get a vaporizer. And I do want to stop smoking on stream, maybe starting next year. Maybe. Like, maybe. Um, that's, that's what I'm considering doing. We'll see how life turns out and where life takes us. Would look pretty snazzy with a purple scarf. Say, a locally made one from the US. Nudge, nudge, nudge. <laughs> My friend, send me a direct message. Please. Send me a direct message. And I would love to talk to you about that. It is something that I actually desperately want. And someone else has offered it to me. I don't know if that was you, my friend. But send me a direct message. Like, I'm open. Ask anyone in the chat that has sent me a direct message. <laughs> oh. It's a beautiful day. It's been windy. I've been, like... <laughs> panically running to my plants every now and then when I get like big gusts of wind making sure they're not getting wrecked but fortunately all of them are alive and well and none of them have broken today fortunately so I'm happy I'm, I'm satisfied with the, the turns of events and I can't really complain nothing to complain about Gratitude. I feel gratitude is the most powerful and most important energy that we can inhabit and that we can channel in this world. And I'm not sure if the comments completely stop or if it's doing the exact same thing again. Uh, it might be doing the exact same thing again. Oh, jeez. Reddit is being a little bit, <laughs> a little bit hard on me today, but it's chill. You know what? I'll just keep talking anyway. Maybe I'll tell another story. What story is it I'll tell? That is the question. I think, I think it's the one I'm experiencing right now. So within myself, I have this. I feel like anger might be the word, or irritation, I think is a better word. This irritation with Reddit and them doing this right now. And I, I'm very aware of this feeling of irritation, and it, it's a very visceral feeling. And it's not what I want to be feeling. But then, in turn, because I'm feeling this, this anger, I, I try and suppress it. And instead of experiencing this anger and recognizing it and looking at it from a place of mystery and being like, hmm, I wonder why Reddit is being bonked out right now. Maybe there's a lot of people streaming right now. Maybe the, the servers are a little bit whack. Like there's an infinite amount of reasons. And instead of being angry at Reddit for not having their stuff sorted, I can just look at it from a place of mystery and wonder. I wonder why these things are the way these things are. 
and then you kind of allow your mind to entertain ideas that takes you away from the anger because you have a more broad perspective. Like I feel like anger can sometimes be like a blunt weapon that we use against things. Very right, like thing wrong, bonk on head, poof, poof, poof. me angry. But I think the best way to look at it is from a place of mystery and from a place of curiosity as well to why the thing is the way that the thing is. And instead of getting too overly involved with that uh, anger or, well, I guess it would be the opposite. Instead of not getting overly involved and just being angry, get overly involved and feel all of the different things that might be in that situation, like in, in relationships as well. Sometimes people do things like what someone does to you or says to you is never ever ever a reflection of you. It's always a reflection of themselves because they're doing that thing and they're saying the things that they're saying to you because it's something that's coming from them, it's something coming from their core and it's something that you never have to take responsibility for because they can never hurt you. You are completely whole, you are completely loved forever and you will never be separate from the mind of God. So in realizing that, you realize that nobody can truly harm you. <sighs> not even rated, <laughs> not loading the comments, it can't harm me. Nothing in this world can harm me because my soul is eternal and infinite. Yeah. Man. That feels good. I feel like I, I try and really become aware, really, really become aware of the things I'm feeling, more so than I've ever allowed myself to. And I feel like I've only allowed myself to start doing that once I've learned this power of forgiveness and this power of <clears throat> love, I guess. And being able to look at something from mystery is, in turn, a way of loving it, if you want to think about it. Because I'm thinking, like server problems, I'm thinking how many people could be streaming right now, which I love actually, so more perspectives, more people expressing their divine selves, more people creating. So I have no problem with that either. And the more you look at something, and the more you think about something, the more things you have to love about it. And then when you love, you can't hate. And when you love, you can't judge. Because judgment is the, the idea or the want to murder something that you believe shouldn't be so. So let me say that again. Judgment is the want to murder something that you believe shouldn't be so. So judgment is wrong, my friend. Judgment is so, so wrong. You can't. We can't judge. Everything has its place in this universe. And for us to judge is us living away from fear. So again, judgment and fear is on this side of the fence. Love and forgiveness would be on this side of the fence. And we should live uh, in love and forgiveness. It is always going to be the, the right way for us to live. It's always going to be what gives us true fulfillment in this life and true experience, true life experience. Man. I feel really good. I feel really, really good. <sighs> Allowing myself to to just feel things <laughs> allows me to feel even more of them. And I feel like I can feel all of you as well right now. In the YouTube right now, actually. Because this is technically where you would be seeing it, if you see it at all. Because I do believe that the stream dropped again. And I'm so, so sorry for that. But there's nothing I can do about it. Fortunately, you are seeing it here. And we are still sharing this moment. And I hope that in these moments that I have in realizing things, in confronting myself with things that I, I'm feeling. I hope that it's something that you can absorb and something that you can implement in your own life as well. I feel like it has so much power to give us power over our circumstances, over our environments, over the things that we experience, over the things we allow into our lives and into our fields of consciousness. Because it's, it's very easy to get distracted. It's very easy to do other things <laughs> it's kind of the thing that they want you to do to do other things yeah we're gonna grow friends we're gonna grow so much this is only day 47 what 
We've only been doing this for like less than two months. Imagine where we're gonna go. <laughs> Imagine how much more we're gonna do. Imagine how much change we're going to inspire in this beautiful world. I can't wait to go all over the world to different countries to, to get different perspectives, different feelings. It's going to be profound. It's going to be so profound. I hope to show you all everything that I see in my life. I hope to take you with me. That is my ultimate dream. That is my ultimate dream. Well, no, I have a few ultimate dreams though, that's the thing. But being able to travel the world and have you come with me is one of them, definitely. Definitely. Soon. <laughs> this year is going to be our incubation stage. Like, a, like an egg being sat on by a hen. And there might be big bad dogs out there in the world, but we're going to be a strong chick when we come out of this egg. And we're going to grow up to be strong. Uh, yeah, that makes me so happy to think about. <laughs> uh, I wonder if our chicken friends are in, in the YouTube. I, I don't think so. Probably not. But we had in one, one of these streams uh, friends that had chickens in their house. And we were just talking about chickens. And one of the interesting things that they shared, I still remember, is like some of the sounds, like a pop, pop, pop that the hen make, oh not the hen, the, the rooster makes is to like notify the, the female hens that he found food and if they have an abundance of food or they know where to find food they ignore him <laughs> and it's, it's kind of funny but it's kind of sad as well nature is such an interesting thing such an interesting thing it's absolutely beautiful there's so much beauty here in nature and all you have to do is kind of spend time and look at it Beauty is, uh, is something that we're very attuned to, something that we have a lot of power over as well, and something that has technically been necessary for our survival as a human race, but now has become almost instinctually ingrained in us. And for example, they did studies where they had, like showed Alzheimer's patients three paintings, and they asked them to rank it from their most favorite to their least favorite. And then two weeks after, after they've long forgotten about these paintings, they still rank them in the exact same way and with the exact same like like and dislike for things and it was just wild to to recognize that they also did the same thing by uh, doing fake abstract art paintings and doing actual like professional abstract art paintings and people could recognize and they knew which one was which and it shows you that human eyes and the human mind has an eye for beauty, literally. And we, we want to see beauty in things. And looking at buildings, like gray buildings, literally makes us sad. It increases our heart rate, it increases our levels of stress, uh, and it makes us bored on top of that. So it's a kind of like weird combination of feelings that we're feeling. So spend some time looking at beautiful things, my friend. Be it a beautiful human, your beautiful dog, a beautiful flower, uh, beautiful things in nature, actually. Things made by nature, are usually beautiful because they follow fractal patterns and sacred geometry and ratios especially the golden ratio so look at nature look at beautiful things friends I think it is something that's very important and I think I'm going to leave you on that note thank you so so much for joining me today like the stream is probably dead but I really appreciate you being here with me I'm sending you so so much love and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.